Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all, let us discuss quadratic function. Now, an algebraic function of the form a square plus b x plus c is called a quadratic function of x where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are the constants. Now let f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Now let us draw the graph of f of x. Now let us discuss the procedure for drawing the graph of the quadratic function f of x. Now in the first step, make a table of the corresponding values of x and the function f of x. Then in the second step, Graph these points on a pair of x, f of x, x is. Then in the third step, join these points to obtain a curve for the given quadratic function. Now the graph of the quadratic function which we have taken as f of x is a parabola and its direction changes at the vertex that is the vertex of the given parabola which is called the turning point Now let us discuss some points which help us to make the graph easily. The first point is the graph of the quadratic function f of x is of two types. First is concave upwards when a is greater than 0 and the second one is concave downwards when a is less than 0 a which is the coefficient of x square secondly if the graph cuts the x axis then the roots of the equation are real and unequal and if it touches the x axis then in that case roots are real and equal If both of these conditions doesn't hold, then in that case, the roots of a given equation are imaginary. 
Now let us discuss the graphs when the coefficient of x square that is a is greater than 0. Now you can see here the graphs when a is greater than 0 that is when a is positive when we are in the first graph that is the graph of the quadratic function cuts the x-axis in the second the graph touches the x-axis and in the third the graph has no points in common with the x-axis. So for the first case, since the graph cuts the x-axis, this means the roots of the given equation are real and unequal, which means the discriminant d is greater than 0. And here, the roots are given by the distance OP and the distance OK. And here the minimum value of the function that is the minimum value Rs is equal to 4ac minus b square whole upon 4a which is at the vertex where the value of x is equal to the distance OS which is equal to minus B upon 2A. Now in the second case, since the graph of the function touches the x-axis, this means the roots of the equation are real and equal, which means the discriminant D, which is P square minus 4AC, is equal to 0. And here, the roots are real and equal, which are given by the distance OP. Now, in the third case, since the graph has no points in common with the x-axis, this means that the roots are imaginary, which means the discriminant D is less than 0 and the graph, that is the curve, has the lowest point Q, at a height QR which is equal to 4AC minus P square whole upon 4A that is this lowest point of the given curve is at the height of QR above the x-axis. Now let us discuss the graphs when A is less than 0. Now when A is less than 0, then again we can have three cases. In the first case, the graph of the quadratic function cuts the x-axis. In the second case, it touches the x-axis. And in the third case, there are no common points with the x-axis. So we know that when the graph cuts the x-axis, in that case, the roots are real and Unequal, which means d is greater than 0, and the roots are given by the distance OP and the distance OQ. And here, the maximum value AB. is equal to 4ac minus b square whole upon 4a which is at the vertex 
And here the value of x is equal to the distance OB which is equal to minus B upon 2A. Now in the second case the graph of the quadratic function touches the x-axis it means the roots are really equal so D1 is equal to 0 and the roots are given by the distance OP. So the roots are real and equal and they are given by the distance OP. And in the third case, since the graph has no points in common with the x-axis, this means the roots are imaginary and this means D is less than 0. That is the discriminant is less than 0. And the vertex Q is at a distance QR which is equal to 4AC minus B square whole upon 4A that is the vertex Q is at a distance of QR below the X axis. Now let us discuss the sign of quadratic function ax square plus bx plus c. Now let p and q be the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then ax square plus bx plus c will be identical to a into x minus p the whole into x minus q the whole. Now there will be three cases. First case is if the discriminant d which is b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Now when d will be less than 0 then we will get these type of graphs that is the first graph when a is greater than 0 and we will get the second graph when a is less than 0. Now when a is greater than 0 then in that case f of x that is the quadratic function f of x which is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is always positive if a is greater than 0. And f of x is always negative if a is less than 0. Now let us discuss it theoretically. Now when d is less than 0, this means b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Now ax square plus bx plus c can be written as a into x square plus b over a into x plus c over a the whole which on completing the squares will be equal to a into x plus b upon 2a whole square minus b square minus 4ac over that is b square minus 4ac whole upon 4a square the whole and this complete whole. Now in this case d is less than 0 that means b square minus 4ac is negative. So here b square minus 4ac is negative. So negative into negative will be positive and we know that square of any quantity is again positive. This means this complete expression will be positive for real values of x. So as this complete expression is positive, this means the sign of the expression that is ax square plus bx plus c entirely depends upon the sign of A. 
So whatever will be a sine of A, the same will be the sine of AX square plus BX plus C. Now, the second case is when D is equal to 0. So let us discuss the sign of the quadratic function when D, that is the discriminant, is equal to 0, which implies B square minus 4AC is equal to 0. Now, this is the graph of the quadratic function when D is equal to 0, that is the graph touches the x-axis. So, when A is greater than 0, then f of x, that is the quadratic function f of x is always greater than or equal to 0. And if A is less than 0, then in this case f of x is less than or equal to 0. Now let us discuss it by taking the expression ax square plus bx plus c. Now here the roots are equal. Now we have taken the roots as p and q. So here p is equal to q. Therefore ax square plus bx plus c can be written as a into x minus p whole square. Now the square of any quantity is a positive. Therefore, x minus p whole square is a positive expression. So, the sign of f of x will be same as the sign of a. Now, let us discuss the third case when d is greater than 0. That is, when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Now, in this case, we know that roots are real and unequal. So, we are let p is less than Q. Now here we will have two types of graphs. Now these are the two graphs. The first graph is for A is greater than 0 and the second one is for A is less than 0. And since D is greater than 0 for this case, therefore the graph of the function cuts the x-axis. Now in this again, first of all let us take that x does not lie between P and Q. Let us take the first case when X lies on the right of Q. That is, when X is greater than Q, then in this case, if X is greater than Q, then X will be also greater than P. So for this x minus p and x minus q both will be positive and if in case x lies on the left of p that means when x is less than p when x is less than p this means x is also less than q Therefore, x minus p and x minus q both will be negative. So, x minus p, that is the product of x minus p and x minus q is always positive. In this case, now ax square plus bx plus c, which is f of x is identical to a into x minus p the whole into x minus q the whole. Now the product of x minus p and x minus q is always positive. For these two cases, this means the sign of f of x depends on the sign of a. Now let us take x in between p and q. Now when x is in between p and q, then in this case, x minus p the whole and x minus q the whole will be of opposite signs. This 
means in this case the product x minus p that is the product of x minus p and x minus q will be negative therefore f of x and a will be of opposite signs for this case when x will be in between p and q. So here for the first case we have got if a is greater than 0 then in this case f of x is greater than 0 if x is greater than q or x is less than p and f of x is less than 0 if x lies in between p and q. And for the second case, if a is less than 0, then f of x is greater than 0 if x lies between p and q and f of x will be less than 0 if x is less than p or x is greater than q. So in this session, we have learnt about quadratic function, graph of the quadratic function and sign of the quadratic function. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.